Hey everybody, welcome to the Art of Divination's weekly podcast. We have the lovely Carol Carson with us tonight, and she's going to be talking about Reiki, and what a great show we have lined up for you. I learned so much myself about Reiki just in preparing for this. So it's something I don't have a lot of uh, familiarity with, but we've clarified a lot of that already, and now we're going to bring the same information to everybody watching tonight. So, if Carol, if you want to say hi to everybody. Hi. <laughs> it's Carol's first podcast, so she's a little bit nervous. Oh, yeah. Don't know what to expect, but that's all right. You'll work your way through it. And I find, too, for people the first time, when they start talking about what they love, well, that's it. Okay. they get so into it, and then the time just flies and you just forget by. the camera's even there. Yeah. Just, like, having a conversation. Exactly. Right. And that's what the format we want. We want this to just be a conversation, yeah. but other people happen to be watching. Okay. So I'm going to start with our usual announcements. This allows time for people to log on. And don't forget, we welcome all your questions and comments. We love hearing from you. And also don't forget, uh, you get uh, the free reading at the end of the night. Start picking your numbers. We're going between 1 and 50, and it's going to be a reading from me tonight. So start putting your numbers out, and we will keep track of them for you. And whoever goes the closest to my number without going over is going to win, win the free reading tonight. <clears throat> So, with our normal announcements, Wednesday nights we have uh, the peer-to-peer uh, mental health support group that is over at McLean and Poulain Pharmacy. It's from 6 to 8 p.m. and it's just a wonderful resource. And the Roots for Youth, the coldest night of the year, um, fundraiser is coming up for them. And uh, remember, they're 100% dependent on donations, so any and all help that we can give them. It's a wonderful organization. They have three houses now. Oh, yes, and yeah, they, I'm aware of that. 16 yeah. to 24, and that's the age group that they have, and they've been around for like six years. They've been around for a while. It's yeah. a wonderful resource for yeah. Pitka County. So any and all help that we can give them is greatly appreciated. And I just want to say, you know, like like and share. Um, let's stop being Pitka County's best kept secret. So like and share everything. And again, our news, we are moving. We are getting a bigger store. Oh, that's wonderful. In the spring, I'm just waiting. They're doing renovations to it now. So it's going to be bigger all the way around. There's going to be a completely private room. I'm so excited. Oh, I, can't wait. Wait. I can't wait. I'm just so excited. It's a much better location, a bigger location. And, and we're ready to go now. Yeah, exactly. Just hi, everyone. Hey, Mom. How are you? It's hi, nice Amy. that you could join us. And um, so um, just I lost my placement. Oh, yes. Friday night is our community night. I don't know if you're aware we do community nights, Carol? No, I'm <clears throat> new at all this. <laughs> well, we do them once a month. They're entirely free. This week, we're going to be talking about empaths and empathy. Oh. And it, they're totally free. Um, it's 7 till about 8.30-ish, because mm-hmm. people like to talk afterwards. The whole goal is to bring information and build a community. Absolutely. Yeah. And that takes place uh, on Katie Avenue. Right, that little brick building. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah. Um, and it used to be the Miners Museum. It used to be a library, but it's right across from the community college. Yeah. So you're more than welcome to come. And on the 23rd of February, we're having a Build Your Own Pendulum workshop. Oh, that'll be interesting. Yeah, we're going to give a bit of history about pendulums, and we're going to teach people how to use their pendulums. And then they're going to make their very own. There's going to be three styles that they can choose from. And so the cutoff day for that is the 20th. I need people need to pre-register and prepay for that. I learned that lesson with the Dreamcatcher one. I bought for 60 and we had like 15. Wow. I still got Dreamcatcher supplies. So mm-hmm. we're good on that. So this one's going to be pre-registered, prepaid. There's a cost of $25, but that's just to cover materials, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so Absolutely. Um, next week, we're going to be talking another similar line. We're going to be having Natasha Pomolowski. Uh, turn up the frequency, vibrational healing. Oh, right. That's, so, that's, that's really cool. Yeah, it is. I'm looking yeah, forward to that I, one, I've too. taken part in that once, and uh, it was really neat. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it yeah. getting yeah. more excited. It really was. It was a neat experience. Excellent. Yeah. Well, Natasha's going to bring some stuff and just let us know more about it next week. Yeah. So that will be interesting. And then the following week after that, we're going to have our podcast with Sue on EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. Yeah. Lots going on at the store. Oh, Every cool. month Something we have like a huge that. lineup of stuff going on at the store. So please keep sharing, letting everybody know. And um, we were talking today, I had a bit of a rant on the daily reading. And I challenged Pitka County. I challenged Pitka County for two weeks 
when you wake up in the morning and instead of letting the thoughts of what I don't have or I'm miserable or how down you are or whatever it is that invades your mind, ants, that's what I call them, automatic negative thoughts. <laughs> instead of letting them in your head, start counting what you do have. Count your blessings. Count what is in your life, the people. Um, your needs are being met. You have a roof over your head, food in your stomach. You know what I mean? Just start looking at everything you do have. Start looking at all the positive things that are in your life, the people, your job, everything that makes you happy. So that's what I challenge you to take a county for two weeks. You know, maybe it takes 30 seconds of your time. Maybe it takes five minutes. Whatever it is, but I challenge you for two weeks to look at what you do have and stop looking at what you don't have or stop letting the negative thoughts in your head and in your heart. And let's raise the vibration of Pitcher County. Absolutely. Turn up the frequency. <laughs> that's the way. So that's your challenge, Pitcher County. I'm working on it myself. And let's just see how we can change the vibration and people's mindset and attitude of Pitcher County. So um, I think that is everything uh, I wanted to say at the start of the podcast. And... Um, so maybe, uh, don't forget, pick your numbers, people. Pick your numbers for that reading at the end of the show. Okay, 1 in 50. 1 in 50. So, Carol, why don't you start off first by telling us a bit about yourself? Not your Reiki, but a bit about yourself. Well, I'm a retired senior. I live in Westville. And I raise miniature dogs, little dogs, um, Morphies. Um, I self-sufficient I live alone um, I like to learn new things so I'm always interested in doing something new an inquiring mind yes yes and that's how I got to learn Reiki is just wanting to know more and, and do more and, um, I have three children which are all away well I have a son lives in, in the area but my other son and daughter live right in Edmonton and I have seven grandchildren and six great grandchildren. Oh wow, you have a very full life. Yeah, but they're all away. Uh, I don't, except for two of them. I have two great grandchildren here in, in the Nebraska area. And I just like to keep active and counting your blessings. Counting my blessings every day. <clears throat> yes. Well, that's what matters, isn't it? Yeah. So, um, how did you discover Reiki? Oh, well, that was by accident, I'm sure. Um, my granddaughter, it'll be six years now, um, was taking a therapeutic touch course, and she needed a drive. So I said, okay, I'll take you. So I take her into a class once a week, and instead of going home and coming back, I decided to stay. And in the meantime, she would say, you know, why don't you have a treatment? Well, at that time, I didn't have a clue what energy healing was or even I didn't even know that our bodies were made up of energy at that time so um, about four weeks after I'd been taken her to these classes um, I realized something about myself like all my life I've had migraines at least once a week and I wasn't having them anymore wow I was taking nothing for my migraines. Yeah. And I went, why is that? You know, they don't just stop. And I realized that it had to have something to do with the energy healing that I had been receiving. So you just kind of stumbled onto it and it changed I your life. I did That's stumble kind of onto it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just by accident. And so consequently, I was really in, in, interested in it. And, wow, this is great stuff. If it can do that for me, can you imagine what else it can do? So I decided to take the course, which I did. And uh, I was doing uh, therapeutic touch in the group. And great results. I've had arthritis in my feet to the point where I couldn't climb stairs or anything like that. And that went away. And I haven't had either one of them since. Wow. It, it really is. It's an amazing, amazing energy. And, but as time went on, I wanted more in depth, something more, something more. And I heard about Reiki and decided that I would take the Reiki course. 
So I'm, I'm unclear for a second. Was it the therapeutic touch that took away your migraines, or yeah. was it the Reiki? It was. It was a therapeutic touch, but I. But the Reiki keeps it away. Okay. As long as I'm doing Reiki, uh, you know, either to myself or to my animals or to someone else, it goes through me and it keeps the migraines away. It keeps the arthritis pain away. It's very good. So it's very beneficial. And uh, that's why I went and took the Reiki course after that. So I'm just going to pause for a second. So <clears throat> you're very soft spoken. I'm just going to ask, can you all hear Carol? I noticed after Mystic Mike, who's also very soft spoken, yeah. that when I followed up and watched, it was very difficult to hear. So for the people that are watching, can you let me know how the sound is? And if, if we have to move the mic a bit, we will. Yeah. I just want to make sure you all can hear this. Because it's really, really wonderful, the information that you're sharing with us. It really is. So um, if you could just let us know. But in the meantime, while we're waiting for an answer, I'm going to get to my next question. So I imagine in your pursuing of Reiki, you learned a little bit about the beginnings, the origins, how people came to discover. Do you know what I mean? Like yes. the history. Well, the word Reiki is a combination of Japanese words. Uh, Rei and key and um tell you what they do with that no worries uh i had it all written down I it was in 19 i think 1922 there was a, a gentleman uh, there's your japanese name. gentleman yeah that, that's i was looking to see where i had written the stuff about the, the man that does it oh here it is um, <clears throat> Ricky was discovered and developed by a man named Dr. Mike, 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 something like that. In Japanese, I don't speak Japanese. <laughs> UC, U S U I. And he opened his first clinic in Tokyo in 1922. So it's been ongoing in the public since 1922. That's 100 years. Yeah, that's a long time ago. Yeah. And it is just, he, he taught, he taught thousands and thousands of people um, to do Reiki and he's, he had, I think in those few years, he, he graduated 16 master Reiki masters oh, wow. who would go on to teach other people. So it's been around for a long time. But from what you were telling me earlier, it's kind of been around longer, it's just we well, didn't realize it. That's just the thing. He stumbled on it as a lot of us do, without really recognizing it's been there all along. Like, when you fall down and hurt your knee, what, what do you do? Right on, you put your hand on your knee and you're rubbing it and making it. That's you using energy to make this better. And I never realized that. Yeah, or like you, when you have like a headache, or you have a headache, and you go like this. you go like that, or or you rub your forehead. You're you're putting energy through your body. Um, energy releases blockages, is what it actually does. That that's, and sometimes we don't think of it really because you can't see it. So because you can't see it. You go, uh, well, we wonder if that's actually doing something. But yes, it's doing something. No, otherwise, why would people do it for well, thousands of years? That's just it. So and it's instinctive. We just do it. Whatever we just turns, do it. Yeah. Just. Or if you get a toothache, you get yeah. your hand up. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. All those pains, you're just. Absolutely. And we've been doing it. Uh, well, when you told me that. It, yeah, we've been doing it without even knowing. So everyone, every living person. And, and I read in a book tonight that even our animals do Reiki on us. Oh, really? I was, I went, I know I do Reiki on my, on my pets. But when you stop to think of it, if you're feeling low, mm -hmm. what does your dog or your cat do? Come they up. come over and they climb on your lap and they nuzzle you. Well, that's their way of presenting Reiki to you. Healing energy. They do it instinctively, and therefore, we have that same, all living things have that same innate ability to present Reiki or energy healing. Uh, like, there are different modalities. Um, 
Reiki is just one of them, and then the therapeutic touch, and there's all kinds the of different vibrational healing. Yeah, yeah. It, but it's the basis of it is all the same. It's it comes from universal energy. So um, when you pick up your cat or your dog, just think of that. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, like you're not feeling good, your dog comes over. And, Climbs up on you. Yeah, our dog likes to lay right in behind your knees and kind of like paw at us with her. Yeah. yeah. So it, it, it really is. It, it, uh, that, it didn't surprise me, but it went, oh, never really thought of it. Never and I think that's a lot of us. Yeah. We don't think it through. We just accept. Yeah. Well, same with living plants. You're, you're, you're like a flower, for instance. What do you do? You go, oh, isn't that beautiful? And you sniff it. You're you're bringing in the energy from, from the that flower. plant. Yeah. So everything around us, every living item is. Okay. Oh, Jennifer does Reiki too. That's awesome. That yeah. is. Thanks for sharing, Zen. That's um, great. So does anybody tell us how the sound is? You're good now. Okay. <laughs> you you just have such a soft voice. Mm -hmm. I'm like a bull. <laughs> Uh, I've always <clears throat> been like this, I'm afraid. No worries. So, um, I'm, when we were talking earlier, you told me the definitions of ray and he. Yes. The two words that make it yeah. up. Um, okay. So, um, where did I do that? Ray is, um, ray is universal life. It's, yeah, meaning universal life. So like source energy. Universal light. It's a, a higher intelligence that permeates all living things. Okay. And key means vital energy. Now, the key is the key is the key <laughs> to uh, Reiki energy because um, the key is is your energy that surrounds your body and runs through it. Okay. So that that's an important part, a very important part, uh, because when you're when your key is low, that's when you feel yuck, yeah, weak, tired, um, irritable, and depressed. and depressed, and you just feel, you don't feel well, and therefore that can lead to illness of other sorts. But when your key is high, you feel bubbly and bouncy, and you can take on the world. I just made another connection. So my challenge that I issued to pick a county to raise Absolutely. up the vibration, that's, that's exactly. raising key. Yes, yes, you're raising your key just by doing it. And they're raising the key of people around them. Because you stop and think, when you come, come across somebody, and if you're smiling, are they going to bark at you? Not usually. They usually go, oh, hi. You know, and it makes them feel better. So... That's your key. That's your energy that is transferring over to them. So you're making a difference in their life, and then they'll go on to make a difference in someone else's life. Well, I think I should change the words in my challenge and say, raise the key now. Raise the it's key. It's the key. Key, like key to a energy. happy life. Vital energy is what it is. I didn't even realize that that's what I was issuing in the challenge was people to raise their key. Yeah. Yeah, that that's is so cool. That's exactly it. That. I can feel my key lifting now because of it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> and that's why we feel better when we do a Reiki treatment. We feel better. The practitioner feels better. I mean, you can, I've gone to, done treatments where I go, oh, I really don't want to do this today, but I've got to go. And by the time I left there, I was like I had and drink or something. You're you know? feeling good. Like feeling good. So it it does it does change your your energy. It does change how you feel. And and if a person um, had even did their own treatments mm -hmm. uh, and on a level one Reiki class, you learn how to do treatments on yourself and as well as on other people, but it's specifically for yourself. And it's really really beneficial. Because if you're down and you're going, oh, it's a terrible day, I don't feel good, just stop for five minutes. Give yourself a quick Reiki treatment and you'd be surprised how you feel lifted, how you feel energized. 
So is that something you're going to show us? Like a treatment <laughs> that we could do on ourselves to lift our key? Well, you do. You learn that in, in, the, in the class, but I can give you a, a, a quick overview. Yeah, because I want to learn that. I, want, yeah. I, I really want to learn that. Yeah. It, it, um, there are different hand positions that you do. Uh, are you paying attention, everybody? These here, I don't know if anybody can see them. We can just get Ashley to take a closer. But these here are the self-treatment hand positions. And, but it's not just putting your hands on. You, you have want to, to run that to the camera for a second. You have to do not the top one. No, uh, the just bottom. One. Um, but you have to bring your consciousness. Oh, you have to bring your consciousness in, in into focus. In other words, if you're going to do a treatment on yourself, you, you just don't go like this. You know, you have to set your intention. You you've got to bring in the energy, ground yourself. So you take a deep breath and you go, and you and you release that energy through your breath down through your body, and it goes into the ground. And you know you're grounded when your feet feel heavy, and you kind of feel like, oh, yeah, I feel heavy, because that energy is coming down and dragging it, dragging your energy through the ground. So in Reiki, do you start at the top and work your way down? Yes. Oh, good. Cool. Yes. Um, That's how I tell people how to ground. Start at the top, work your way down. And that's how I ground. Grounding is, is a personal thing. Mm -hmm. So you might do it differently than I do, and you might do it differently than someone else does. Mm -hmm. um, it's what works for you. You just find whatever works for you, and that's what you use. So once you're grounded, then you, if you hold your hands out, and you just... Think. So think about what this hand, the inside of your hand feels like right here. Just one hand. Just go like, what, what does it feel like? Can you feel like a little tingling? Um, I feel weight. Or it feels, it feels like you've got something sitting in your hand or it can feel warm. I feel weight. Yeah. So that's the energy that's coming through to your hand. So now, once you feel that, once you're grounded and you're, you, you consciously, you know, I want to heal myself. I, I want, you know, life force energy. So then you start, and the first thing you do is put it over your eyes. So you just hold them there, and you can feel the heat from your hands going to your eyes. Um, better take your glasses off, but... If you just hold them, you don't have to even lay them on you, but close enough that you can actually feel the heat coming from your hands. Feel that? Just think about the energy coming through your hands into onto your face. Do you know what's funny? I feel heat. Yeah. But feel my hands. They're yeah. cold. Well that's that's the whole thing. That that's that's how you know you're actually that is cold. There we go. That is warm. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it's not that your hands are, are warm. It's the energy coming through your hands that is warm. So that, that would be the first one. Now, so if you, um, then, then you want to do the top of your head, which is the crown. And this is for lifting your, your this will lift your vibrations. Up. vibrations. So you hold your hands above your head for a few minutes. And the thing is, there's no set time how long you leave them there. You can leave them there for a few minutes. It's like once you get used to doing this, the energy will dictate how long you stay. Because in your mind, it'll go, okay, time to change. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's time for me um, to change. It's getting really warm. <laughs> yeah, so you can feel that. Yeah. Super. That's great. Um, then the other one would be the back of your head. That's great for headaches. When you, when you put your hands on the back of your head. The other one is under here. And... That, that takes in the, um, the jawline. Oh, great for a toothache. Yeah. Or that, tension. Yeah, or tension. Or TMJ. Um, now, the other one is the throat, and you go like this. Um, <clears throat> if you've got a sore throat, or if you just want clarity to be able to speak clearer, mine's kind of raspy tonight for some reason. The other one is the heart, so you just put your hand there. And when you hold it there, you can feel the heat. Um, as you get as you get 
more in tune with, with your energy and universal energy, your hands will um, tingle. Like sometimes you'll be sitting there. I remember, here's a little story. I was sitting in church one day. I'm going to take my hands out so I can yeah. my heartbeat. <laughs> I was sitting in church one day. I mean, you don't go to church to, you know, to, to look at people, but there was a gentleman sitting about three rows down from me. And all of a sudden, my hands were just hot, and they were tingling, and I'm sitting there going, I'm not supposed to be doing this in church. <laughs> How do you know you're not supposed to be doing that in church? Well, that, that was my thought. I'm not supposed to be doing this in church, but it wouldn't go away. And I was looking around, you know, mm -hmm. like, oh, dear. So I kind of consciously just sat there and, you know, did the long distance, the, the distance. So I just presented the energy to him like in a distance rather than on him. Mm -hmm. And then after a few minutes, the tingling stopped. So my, my experience is I passed that energy on to him. So whether he knew it or not, it was a gift given. He got, he got, he got an energy, a short mm -hmm. energy treatment. But energy is, is it's really wonderful because you can use it anywhere, anytime. I also think energy being wonderful depends on your experience with it. Like for energetic healing, I think it's a fantastic yeah. thing. But if you're an empath and you're unaware of it and you're absorbing so much, it can seem more like a burden and overwhelming hurt. Um, I don't absorb it. Um, when I do a treatment, the energy flows right through me. I'm not really absorbing my client's energy. Uh, the energy is coming through. It's coming through to me. It's coming through my hands and it's going into their energy. So we're not mixing energies, so I don't get an overload, and I guess that's that's just the way I look at it. I don't look at it like, oh, their energy is going to mix with mine, and I'm going to get an overload. So it's it's all about um, finding that balance um, where your your energy stays here, and theirs stays here, and universal energy comes through. I was more thinking about me the first time I ever went to therapeutic touch. There was so much energy. And that yeah. energy is hot. I couldn't stay oh, in the room. Yeah. Yeah. I had to leave. Yeah. I was like doing a strip tease. <laughs> it was too much. Yeah, some people are, are a lot more sensitive to it. Um, and you can be. You can you know, so when we when we do a treatment on someone, we always tell them, if this gets too much, let me know. But so far, so good. I haven't had anyone say stop. Well, that's good. Yeah. So have we got any questions from the viewers? Don't forget, people, we welcome your questions and comments. We love them. And um, so, Ashley, you got a question for Carol? Um, well, most of my questions she's already kind of answered, but um, I don't even know what it is. All right. Well, how about we'll get back to you in a minute. What does Reiki help with? Is it just raising your energy level or is this a physical symptoms? Okay, uh, the benefits of Reiki are on this, this here. And this is just what it can do. It can promote deep relaxation. Um, if you've never had a Reiki treatment, um, you have not experienced deep relaxation. Because when you get a, when you get a Reiki treatment, your body, I know when I get one and a lot of my clients that, that I've done, it's like they can't even feel the body. Oh, wow. They relax to that point where they're laying there and it's like they can't feel the bed. So that's, deep, that's a deep relaxation. And when you come out of a deep relaxation, you feel good. You really feel good. It relieves stress and anxiety. So if you're anxious, and this is where the uh, self-healing can come in, if you've had a rough day, it promote, promotes pain relief, it eases muscle tension, it gives you peace of mind and body, it increases the rate of recovery from injury, and um, anyone that's had an operation, 
then if they were to get Reiki, they would heal so much quicker. And I've got a little story for that one, too. <laughs> uh, when I first started energy healing, I had a big dog. And the dog, it was in the winter, and I was taking the dog from the kennel to the car. The dog went that way, and I went that way. And consequently, I broke my leg. Oh. Wow. And I was taking this dog to Brunswick. So I wanted, I said, I had a friend with me that does Reiki. And she also does therapeutic touch. And uh, so I hobbled to the car with the dog, and off we went to Brunswick. <laughs> On a broken leg. Well, I just thought I, you know, I just thought I'd hurt it. But, you know, I wasn't know about, it was broken. I wasn't about to give, to mm -hmm. give up. But it was it was painting on the way up. So my friend did Reiki and energy healing on my leg. So because of it, I wasn't feeling the pain of a broken leg. Because it, she was keeping the energy flowing through, you know, the, the problem. When I got to New Brunswick, I couldn't walk. I couldn't stand up. I ended up in the hospital, and that's where I found out I had a broken leg. So my granddaughters both did therapeutic touch, and they'd come over every day, and they would do give me a treatment. I had my cast off in two weeks. Wow. And I was walking. Wow. Serious. Uh, that is impressive. Two weeks, the cast was off, and I was out walking. Was your doctors amazed? Because it, it's I normally didn't go four tell to my six doctor. weeks. I didn't tell him. Oh. I didn't tell him. <laughs> I took the cast off myself because it was driving me crazy. And I used crutches for a few days, and then I went, well, there's nothing wrong with me now. So at the six weeks, which you go back, I went back in six weeks, and the, I remember the doctor saying, where's your cast? <laughs> I bet. I said, I took it off because it was bothering me. Well, well, we'll have to see. There was nothing, nothing wrong with my, my leg. It had wow. Healed. That is impressive. Yeah. But I don't recommend that for everybody else. <laughs> oh, gosh, no. Don't everybody follow my example. I, that, <laughs> that, that won't work for everyone. But it, that just, it just gives you a bit of an idea of, how Reiki can help you heal faster yeah. from any kind of injury or any kind of, of surgery or anything like that. So it is absolutely wonderful. That is impressive. Very impressive. So you're talking about it already, <laughs> but <clears throat> do you need certifications to practice Reiki? Can anybody just go out there and start giving it to the multitudes or do you have to go through a process? Well, in order to do it properly, uh, there are three levels of Reiki in the program. Your your first level is basically given so you can self-treat. And you could also, you know, treat your, your family or your children or, or your pet. Um, then after that, there's level two. Once you take level two, that is a little more involved. We have um, uh, Reiki symbols that we use to enhance the energy. Like to make it bigger mm -hmm. um, and therefore we also teach long distance in a level two so that you can actually treat your sister that's miles and miles away I've, I've treat my daughter's <clears throat> husband and he was in Edmonton and I've treated him just from here to there and he's called back and said oh, Feels great. Thank you. So, so therefore, you need, in order, with level two, you can also um, set up a, a small business and do it for, for money as a business. But with Re Reiki one, you can't. Um, that's just for your own personal use and your family. So does that answer? So it's kind of like buying aspirin as opposed to making aspirin. Absolutely, yes, just about, yeah. <laughs> and then the third level? The third level is a master. This, I have a master. So as, as, as a master, I can teach you to do Reiki. Okay. I can, I can um, you know, set up a full-fledged business and, and actually teach it. Uh, that's the difference. And you learn more. 
in, in level So with three. each level, they give you the skills you need for the next. Yes, absolutely. <clears throat> well, that's very good. Yeah. But it's not something you should use instead of a doctor, but with oh, medical. Oh, no. It, it, it goes along with, uh, you know, all medical. You, you don't give up your... You don't do what I mean. You don't give up your family give up, doctor. You give up your family doctor. It's complimentary. It is. It it just makes things easier. It's kind of like taking vitamins. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So have you um yeah, sorry, my two questions. <laughs> um so you said it can be used in like animals and things and stuff. It can be used in like plants or like anything else or yeah. babies. Yeah. Yes, you can treat And like, is it safe to, for the children and stuff like that? Yes, or? it's very safe because it's universal energy. It's divine energy. So therefore, they're only, they're cells in, regardless whether you're human, whether you're a dog, whether you're a cat, whether you're a flower, whether you're a baby, your cells are only going to absorb so much. And then it'll just flow off. Mm -hmm. So you'll never get, you really will never get too much. Um. So you can use it on babies and old old people, like a lot of people use it <clears throat> in, um, you know, cancer paper people that are really sick, really sick, and it does help them. It gives them a peace and a quietness that uh, they normally can't do, and I also it eases think their pain. And when you're raising your key, yes, right. I <clears throat> in in my background, I have worked in the nursing industry, right? Yes. And that's my background. And um, I've noticed like people, there's this one lady, she's, she almost willed herself to die yeah. because of her loneliness, right? Yes. And then something came, that good news came, and all of a sudden she perked back up. Oh, yes. And the power of your mind is amazing. Oh, So amazing. Is. And then other people that had something that should, they should be up and around in a couple of weeks. And because their mind is, I don't want to use the word weak, but not fortified. Right. They just give up. They give up. And then they go. Yeah. yeah. So even just raising your vibration, your, vibration. your key, whatever you want to call it, you know, that makes you stronger to fight a debilitating sickness like cancer yes. or, or anything that's um, fatal. Yes, absolutely. So even so just it, that. It's, it's just like, it's, it's an attitude. It, and it's a good one and uh it's certainly misunderstood a lot of people think it's just you know hooey but yeah uh try it it really isn't try it yeah then tell me it's hooey absolutely yeah. uh one day uh i had a muscle spasm on my back i thought i was having a heart attack i couldn't breathe oh those wow. muscles were clamping so bad on my back i couldn't breathe wow. right and every breath i took hurt and i thought this is it i'm having a heart attack because women don't get typical symptoms of men. It often no. feels like indigestion, right? Absolutely. And I couldn't expand my chest to breathe deeply. I had to breathe very shallowly. You remember that? Mm -hmm. Ashley yeah. got my mother-in-law because I couldn't get up. I couldn't get out of bed, anything. And I was like crying. And I didn't do that often. I had to go to the neighbor. And no. our neighbor's an EMT. And I'm like with my nurse. And I'm like, you know, I need a second opinion because I'm overreacting. Yeah. Because I'm so afraid. And anyway, so I came to the store because it's like, yeah, I, I agree with the muscle spasm, right? Yeah. Because, you know, you seem to be fine. You don't seem to be having other symptoms or anything like yeah. that, right? Yeah. So, and I came to the store and Cherry came in today. Yeah. Thank God, Cherry came in. And it was just yeah. out of the blue yeah. that she came in and she recognized that I was in pain. in pain. And she did therapeutic touch treatment on me. Yeah. And within 15 minutes, I could take a deep breath. Yes. I couldn't get full mobility. No. But I could breathe and I could move. Absolutely. And then the so, first time yeah. she took a deep breath, the biggest smile from yeah, ear yeah. to ear right yeah. on her face. So for the people who so, think it's hooey, it's not. I it's challenge you to true. try it and then. Yeah. Childbirth. Childbirth? Well, I really don't have very much experience dealing with, um, you know, that in that scenario. Do you think it could help, though? I don't see why it shouldn't, because it's not invasive, um, but a gentle, you know, like just a, a gentle flow of energy can't ha can't hurt. I mean, I I do it on my dogs when my dogs are having puppies. Hmm, there we go. And I mean, it, it helps the dog relax and 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 it helps the the birth 
And that's the big thing when you're late, so you gotta help her. I just automatically do it on on my dogs. Who should have did that? The one when she had her puppies. <laughs> yeah, but I'm thinking someone else is gonna be having a baby soon. Yeah. So might check into this a little bit, make yes. it a little bit easier. Yeah, and it can't hurt her. Let's put it that way. It can't hurt her. Okay. Do we have any other questions or comments? I see a whole bunch of things right in there, so I'm not acknowledging everybody who's commenting, but hello, everybody. Normally, when people, I say, hey, I'm here. Why did you say this? I think the video has frozen unless it's my phone. It was there. Oh. No, no, but you're right. But no, I just normally say hi to everybody that's commenting. Sorry, we got right into that's it tonight, so didn't we? Yeah. Did. Hey, Zen. Hey, Mom. Hey Crystal. Hey Jeffrey. Hey guys, it's nice to see you all. Okay, in Reiki we have what they call the principles of Reiki. Okay. It's something that is taught in level one. And all it is, it's it's just it's just a a blurb and it says just for today. And if you did this every morning, it would be in conjunction with your what you are Can we say it? people just for today i will not worry just for today i will not be angry i will do my work honestly i will give thanks for my many blessings and i'll be kind to my neighbor and all living things you are so right that would really help and, the challenge and yes so that Maybe would work to say that every morning that would work really good in your challenge because it's very simple and when you when you say it just just really think what you're saying just take just take at the end of the show seconds. can i write these words down and Absolutely. i can post it to my facebook page oh, you most certainly can so but those are called the principles of reiki this is what we strive for do you remember how you worried about this <laughs> you want to know what time it is no it's quarter to eight is it really oh well thank you for having me it goes by really fast oh, we yeah. didn't even get to cover half of it i know it the thing with reiki it, it's there's, there's a so lot to it to i mean we just touched the surface um but there really is a lot to it there is there definitely yeah. is um maybe carol you'd like to come back in another day and we can talk a little bit more in depth about reiki yeah, because i just feel we barely scratched the surface see these are in your level two these are the symbols some of the symbols these are the major symbols that we use okay. so it there's a there's a lot to it but it's it's very enjoyable and and uh, it's very useful it is. It's pretty fun. Um, everyone should at least look into it. Oh, definitely. Yeah. So, um, you have about a minute left to guess your numbers for the podcast to for the free reading. And I just want to thank you for joining us. It was fascinating. I learned so much. And I just really, really want to thank you for joining us. Well, you're more than welcome. And I do was, hope you'll come back. I will. I'll be back. Now that the nerves are over. And we'll talk about it a little bit more because I just, yeah. I never even asked all my questions. I know you did. <laughs> and then that hour has gone by. It's gone by. It doesn't take long because there's a lot you can, there's a lot you can learn. But what you have to remember is everyone can do it. Okay. I'm going to do two quick questions because I think yeah. these are going to, about how long is a session? A session can vary anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. Okay. Mine usually take around 45 minutes. But it all depends because when when you're placing your hands on on your client, the flow of energy will dictate how long you stay in that area. So we have specific points in the body, like the chakra areas, and we have chakras all over our body. So we use the chakra areas as pinpoints to to uh, balance the energy. So, um, like if I put my hand there. All of a sudden you'll go okay it's time to move but you don't know why it just comes like the energy itself and it you know. yes it, it will you know. dictate all right so you did kind of talk about what happens during the session people relax they de -stress, oh, yeah. de stress and they just let go let go and that's the main thing they they tend to you tend to let go so much better because the energy is flowing and it's relaxing and it's relaxing not just your mind but it's relaxing your muscles it's relax, relaxing your organs okay so therefore that that body is, is going to feel like oh really light I guess that's the word for it so your body will feel very light when you're having a treatment okay 
and that that's the deep relaxation you get which you normally don't get when you're no so this is my last question what can you do to help yourself prepare for a session i think that's an important one well you have to be of the right mind um you have to be positive um you need to learn how to ground yourself grounding just means bringing energy in and the body just relaxes and is stable like you know your mind is not all over the place because you've relaxed your whole body basically and the energy can flow through and uh, then you center yourself uh, centering just means um, to focus basically you're going to focus on on the energy and then present it to your client now is there anything physical you could do like um wear loose clothing drink water make sure well, you, eat? you should be hydrated um the, the practitioner should be well hydrated and your client should be hydrated as well um especially after a treatment because that that energy flowing through kind of um makes you thirsty afterwards and should you have someone drive you home not necessarily there's only once i've ever been drunk after a treatment <laughs> and that's true i was oh i believe it <laughs> i got up out of the chair and i was like this all over the place so what is wrong with me but that was just one time well, we're on guard so much yeah we really are on guard with our bodies oh, so absolutely. much we're, we're prepared for tension we're prepared for aggression we're here uh, uh, prepared for calamities oh yeah and then when you let that when go let the go. release i imagine is amazing oh it is and so when you get up you don't feel like yourself you know if you get up out of that chair like i tell my clients sit up quietly and just sit there <laughs> don't jump off the table because you could end up falling yeah, yeah like when i had so. my um therapeutic touch session she done, was almost drunk i yeah. was laying in the chair and she was like okay i'm gonna put sponge over you lay down till you're okay and she her and the other girls because there's two girls doing the session for me mm -hmm. they transferred me from the first chair into the one like the massage table yes. almost, that you were telling me about right. and she leaned it back and I fell asleep for a good 20 minutes. Yes. And I got up and I couldn't walk. My mom had to come in and help me walk to the yeah. car. And that's what it does. It, it just cleanses your whole body. It, it, it just makes everything better. Excellent. That's a good way to end it. It makes everything better. Excellent. So we are going to go to the reading tonight because we're trying to keep to our schedule. Oh, Kyle, you have a comment? Sorry. No way! That's wonderful. That's there's awesome. A, there's an attestment to what Reiki does. That is yeah. absolutely awesome. It's a really powerful stuff. It is powerful. There, you don't know until you actually get right into it okay. and realize what it can do for you. And like I said, I realized what energy healing did for me when I stopped having migraines and stopped yeah. having you know the arthritis in my feet. I mean, that was testament enough for me yeah to continue to find out what is this all about uh, so it can it can help anybody out there it doesn't matter what your situation is very good it can help you know. all right so you get your numbers ready pick their cans the number i chose for tonight is 35. so whoever's closest without going over gets himself a reading crystal wells oh yay crystal <laughs> i'm glad to see you <laughs> joining us so you get your question ready, and I'm going to get these cards ready. You know, maybe when I do this, I'm thinking of the person. Whenever I'm reading a person, I'm thinking of them. I'm concentrating Absolutely. on their energy signature as I know it. Yes. And uh, for me, when I touch people during a reading, it makes their energy a lot clearer to me. So, but Crystal's my cousin. Oh. Well, so, nice. you know her energy quite well. I yeah. have the DNA energy yeah. connected to Crystal. DNA energy. So I'm, that feels about right. So Crystal, oh, you got the chariot. That's a card about change. You've got the eight of wands. You have the page of wands. And you have the fool. So don't think it's a horrible reading yet. It's not a horrible reading. So the chariot indicates a journey. You are on a journey. Um, what I think with you, it's more of an emotional, spiritual journey. And I feel like 
you're consciously making a choice to do things differently this time around that you're kind of going around in a pattern right now but you're making a conscious effort to look at things differently to do things differently to be aware in a different way i also feel like you've gained a lot of insight to help you make different choices on your journey at this part of your life the eight of wands is all about um goal setting it's achieving it's um new friends new people into your life um maybe concentrating more on home task efforts it's just you're changing your focus and just going in a different way now the page of wands um this is a young man uh, between 12 and 16 is where i put the page and he is a very focused and driven person almost to the point of tunnel vision and change is difficult for him but um he can he's not rigid and unchanging but change is a difficult concept a person that does better with um routine and schedule and they kind of need steady sane the fool tells me you're regretting something you are afraid you made a bad choice but from what I'm getting from your cards, your choice isn't bad, it's just scary. And somewhere along the lines, this is just gonna click for you and you're gonna get that relief saying, okay, it's just not in the direction I predicted, not the direction I focused it. And it's not a bad thing, but it's a new thing. So that is your reading. It's a lot about change and growth and, and just all kinds of wonderful things coming for you. So I, Hope that you enjoyed that and it's different when it's just one side it's just me talking <laughs> so um, that is your reading and I just I wanted to again say thank you Carol for joining us You're it so was welcome. really good and I really enjoyed everything you shared with us and it's I, really interesting it is I hope all of you out there watching really enjoyed this and um, I tried to find some names of because I know you don't practice Reiki as a business no, you just mostly your your circle, your friends, your family, your animals. Yeah, but you are qualified to teach, so oh, maybe yes. that would be I, something you might consider someday. I probably would teach level one. Uh, maybe we can because with up. level one, it's it's a basic, and anyone can do it. And they I could mean, do it on themselves, I, I, and they could do it on themselves, which I think is is really important for your own health. You know, if you can keep your your key flowing you're going to feel better. And it also follows along with one thing that I love telling everybody, you're your own best advocate. <laughs> That's so true. By yeah. taking charge and doing yeah. your level one, you know what I mean? By learning it for yourself, yes. you're taking charge of you. Yeah. So maybe that's something we can talk about at a later date. When you get your new business set up, maybe set up we'll talk. talk about it. Yes. That, but that would be yeah. fantastic. So Robin, oh, Crystal says, thank you so much. That was amazing. Oh, thank you, Crystal. I love you. You're a wonderful person. <laughs> So the one person I do know who does actively practice Reiki is Robin, our astrology lady. Everybody knows Robin for her astrology and for her crystals, but she also practices Reiki. So I have cards here and I will put up a link to how you can contact Robin, but you can also contact her through the store because I'm always going to pass on the messages. And But her number is 902-759-7588. And as Carol was saying, yeah. when I get my new location, maybe we will set up a I class where yes. people can learn their level one so they can practice and be Absolutely. their own advocate. Be, yes, and help themselves out. And I mean, there's a lot of people that, you know, um, <laughs> don't want to teach it or don't want to really get involved with uh, practicing it all the time. So this is a way for them to help themselves. Yeah. Well, that's me. Yeah, I have enough with the store. Stuff. Well, this is it. We're but all busy. And, I would love to raise my chi. I would love yeah. to learn Reiki for me, for my husband, for my kids, for my dog. Absolutely. I would love to learn it for that. But I don't want to go out treating everybody. No, right. I have enough with the store. Yeah. Well, that's what level one will do for you. It will give you all the information that you need um, to do that. Perfect. So as we set something up, we will definitely share that with everybody else who might be interested in learning about that. Sounds good. So um, I'm going to go to my favorite close, an act of kindness. An act of kindness is another way of raising your vibration or your key. 
And it doesn't have to be giving away huge amounts of money. It could be volunteering at Roots. It could be reaching for helping somebody reach something in the supermarket. It could be holding the door open for something. It can be very small and it can be totally free, but it is a way of raising the vibration, of raising the key. Oh, just the ethnic kind of stuff. There's a guy that comes through every day at work. Um, we actually know him from karaoke. Every day, whoever takes his payment, most times makes that pretty much live our first window, he always gives us a little piece of chocolate. Oh. Well, there's just like a little arrows where like the little Halloween ones, yeah. or right now it's Valentine's Day, but he always gives me a piece of chocolate every day. There's some that wonderful. See, that's a small yeah. act of kindness. That's just a small one. That has or just, a huge just impact. smile and say good day to somebody. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. That that can really make you feel. You're I mean, right. You're a stranger walking past you. Hi, nice day. So, so many people feel invisible. Like a that's lady. just the whole point. We, you know, everyone's so busy doing their own thing that you look, sometimes you don't feel like you're being part of the world. Exactly. And when somebody so, stops and says hi, nice day, you feel oh, somebody knows me. That kind of someone wants to have a conversation, <laughs> or yeah. someone sees me. Yeah. I'm not invisible. Yeah, they don't feel so isolated. Yeah. Like so that raises your key. Exactly. Yeah. And, and I'm sure it raises theirs too. And theirs. Yeah. So there's so many small, simple acts of kindness that can have huge impact. It's like a ripple effect. It's like a pebble that started the waves that became a tsunami. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and it just has to be something simple. It doesn't have to be anything really huge. Exactly. And the other thing I'm going to close with is find your simple pleasures. Those simple pleasures that give you peace. And I imagine that would help raise your vibration and your key as well. But those small things that make you go, it's going to be all right. Yeah. I'm going to get through this. You're going to get through it. Or I feel fantastic. Whatever it is, but find your simple pleasures and light and love to everybody. And thank you all for joining us. I really hope you enjoyed this as much as and I don't did. Don't forget our challenge that we have. And our challenge to raise the vibration. And also don't forget to join us next week with Natasha. We're going to focus on a different modality, uh, vibrational healing. Right. And uh, so just please keep sharing the word. Love and light to everybody. I wish you all the best and have a great night. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you.